Can you really fix a leaking pipe with flex tape? This is the final answer. Okay, professionals, we've all seen the commercials and rolled our eyes. DIYers, you're probably wondering if it actually works in a pinch. Well, today, we're taking the most famous tape in the world and putting it up against real world plumbing leaks. We're getting the final answer once and for all. And if you're a homeowner, stick around till the end because this might be the answer you're looking for. Flex tape, the super strong waterproof tape. So here's our setup. We've got a standard half inch copper pipe with a clean 1 8 inch hole that we drilled in it to simulate a pinhole leak. And of course, the legend itself, flex tape. Now we're gonna apply it exactly as the instructions say. On a clean, dry surface, then we're gonna introduce water pressure. Okay, so as you see over my shoulder, we've got one in the vise that we put on 24 hours ago. I've got one here that I'm gonna put on right now. Now, the reason that we're doing it this way is if you're a homeowner, if you're a DIYer, God, I hope you're not using this as a plumber. But if you are, this is something that if you're using it, it's because you need to turn the water on right now. It's an emergency repair. I get that. So what I'm going to do is we've got another roll right here. We've cut a little piece just exactly like we cut over there. What we're going to do is just like we did on this one yesterday. Good clean surface. I'm just cleaning it off, making sure there's no oil, dust, anything at all like that. I don't want to touch it with my hands. So it's a good clean surface. Now, flex tape, you've got the little clear back on the end right here. I mean, trust me, if they did it like duct tape, you'd never get it off. So what I'm gonna do is grab the corner, peel the clear plastic off. There we go. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick it on there. I'm making sure I press it right down on the hole. I don't really want to put a mark where I know where that hole is. Right around in there. Okay. So now I'm gonna come all the way around. And it overlaps. So I got it to where it's touching really, really good. Now it is close to the end. Maybe I might have put it. Maybe I might have should have put it in the middle, but I wasn't sure if that was going to come all the way around. I don't remember how it did yesterday, but my leak or, or my hole that I'm repairing is right here. So this is going to be really easy. So as you see, we've got the blast chamber behind us. We're going to put, first of all, we're going to put this one. We're going to put the one in that, look, this is an emergency repair. If you're a homeowner, man, you put this on, you're thinking, okay, look, I put the tape on like the guy does in the commercial, just boom, slaps it on the tank and it's done. Well, he didn't let that set 24 hours, but I understand there's no pressure there. Actually, a couple of feet, there's probably, you know, 0.8 PSI, but I've got it where, and the tape's all around the leak. You can see a little dimple right there, so you know right where it is. And I keep rubbing it just to make sure it's about as good as it can get. And then, like I said, I wrapped it all the way around, so it should have this for support. So let's stick it in and let's test it and see what it does. Okay. All, right. all right, so I'm gonna crack the water on. Oh. Did you see any pressure come up? Yeah. Fix it a minute. No, there's a... All right, so I'm gonna crack the water on really slow to try to get it up. And as you see right now, we're at zero PSI. I'm on. And right now, yeah, right now we can't even get it to hold city pressure. And as you see, since I put the end of the tape so far over on the other one, it, it didn't work very well. Uh, so I took it off put it on again with it right in the middle and kind of pulled it tight around. Now, this is just for an emergency quick repair and we can't get it to hold city pressure. So what we're gonna do, well, 
We're gonna go ahead and put in the one that has set for 24 hours and see if we can get it to hold city pressure. Let's set it up. All right guys, so this is the piece that's been sitting here for 24 hours. I'm afraid we're gonna run into the same problem where it's gonna blow the tape out like it did on the last piece. I'm telling you what, their adhesive is amazing, but let's see what it does. As you see, we got zero PSI. Again, gonna bump this up really slow. Man, I thought we had it there for a minute. And there it is, a complete failure. Water everywhere. This is exactly what would happen if you relied on this as a permanent fix. On the first piece, the one that we just put on today, as you can see, it blew out right where the hole was. It literally blew right through the tape. It's got the projectile here, you can actually see that. The one that set 24 hours and gave the glue or the adhesive time to cure, that's where it blew out. Right here at the red mark is where it is. And if you look down the tape, you can see where it pushed it up and the water forced itself out the end. But the tape didn't blow on this one, so that's very interesting. We may have to try this again and double wrap it, maybe wrap it like you would, you know, with electrical tape or something, I don't know. We'll try it again and see what happens. So at the end of the day, this is not the, the perfect fix. So myth busted, the real fix, the permanent fix, well, that's a solder joint, maybe a press fitting, a proper mechanical fitting that's rated for the life of the plumbing system. This takes about two minutes and it will never fail. This is the difference between a temporary hack and a professional repair. Knowing the difference between a temporary hack and a permanent professional repair is what being a great tradesman is all about. It's about understanding the people, the people you work with, the people that work for you, people like that, and having the confidence to do the job right the first time so your customers can trust you. If you wanna build that deep level of skill and confidence, my game course covers everything from leadership and management to communication skills. You will learn G to get clear on the opportunities available to you. A achieve the knowledge and skill that makes you a valuable asset and separates you from every other plumber. I, instill confidence in the crews working for you. And N, never worry about your career again. If you are interested, check out the link in the description. I'm telling you, it's a game changer. Now that you know not to trust tape for your leaks, Check out this video here where we test cheap versus expensive plumbers, or this one where we react to the biggest plumbing scammers. I'll see you in the next video.